specifically focusing on social security, including those who receive social security, disability insurance, social security, disability insurance, and social security, the delivery dates of social security, the delivery dates of social security benefit payments, and $1,400 were determined. And all of the pertinent information is in my possession, including information about SSI and VA beneficiaries. The money that is being used for the stimulus is going to be spent as rapidly as possible in order to stimulate the economy, rather than being saved in the bank accounts of the people. As things are right now, the dynamics of the situation imply that if the economy continues to collapse, there is a great possibility that another round of stimulus checks will be issued. Hundreds of billions of dollars into the businesses, into the economy, into the unemployed, and into the general population through the use of stimulus checks. For the purpose of maintaining economic stability, a closed loop system that includes refunds, relief checks and stimulus checks is being implemented. Taking into consideration the current state of the stimulus check, I have included all of the essential information that you require right here in one video for your convenience. Now, without further ado, let's get right down to business and discuss everything in further depth. On the other hand, gentlemen, before we begin this video, please make sure to click that like button, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Now, without further ado, let's get right into all the specifics. It is now very clear to me that individuals and households with low incomes, fixed incomes, and even households with no income at all are experiencing a severe lack of financial resources. However, you need not be concerned since I am right over here to assist you in any way, shape, or form. Now that Congress is working on a variety of bills, it is very important to keep an eye on all the important announcements that come from the federal government as well as from Congress. Therefore, when we talk about the possibility of A, a stimulus check, we need to take into consideration who might be included in the next round in the event that the stimulus check is issued in the next round, what would be the process of issuing those stimulus, stimulus, stimulus checks, and most importantly, how much money will be pumped into the economy, how much money they will be sending out, and when you can anticipate receiving it. I will be addressing any further questions or speculations that you might have, in addition to providing a breakdown of all of these crucial questions. When it comes to the stimulus check, which is the next round of a stimulus check, the Federal Reserve conducts a thorough analysis of the economy to determine the amount of stimulus that is actually required to assist individuals in recovering from their current financial situation. The Federal Reserve is responsible for determining the amount after which money is essentially printed out and injected into the economy. Now, it is very important to note that the Federal Reserve does not provide this kind of stimulus money out of sheer generosity, rather. They do so because they are fully aware that if money is given to the people, they will spend it right here in the economy in a variety of different sectors, including food, groceries, clothing, housing, health care, and so on. This is the reason why the Federal Reserve provides this kind of money. In the event that money were to be distributed to the populace, they would invest it in a wide variety of economic areas. In addition, this is the most efficient method for reviving the economy in an instant, and here is where the purpose of the stimulus check comes into play. The money that is being used for the stimulus is going to be spent as rapidly as possible in order to stimulate the economy rather than being saved in the bank accounts of various individuals. Into the bank accounts of individuals because doing so does not significantly contribute to the goal of the stimulus check. When it comes to saving and reviving the economy in an instant, the government acknowledges the significance of injecting money into the economy since this is the most effective strategy. To put it simply, if people simply store their stimulus check, they are not contributing as much to the economy as they could be. The government desires for the funds to be utilized in a variety of industries, including the provision of health care, apparel and groceries. It is now possible to create a good impact within the economy by spending the money throughout the economy are going to be produced. The distribution of the money through the stimulus check has been demonstrated to be the most effective method for boosting the economy, according to a number of studies. Consequently, when it comes to the subsequent round of a stimulus check, the government is of the opinion that it is essential for individuals to spend their money on things that they require. Although it does not matter what kind of requirements people have, they are required to spend their stimulus check. Either they can accomplish this by acquiring foodstuffs, clothing or other necessities, or they can do another thing entirely. Taking part in this class, it is at this point that things start to get truly fascinating. The question now is, what does this imply for our companies? Now, when we all get our stimulus checks, we have a tendency to go out and spend them, which is a good thing for the economy. This sudden spike in consumer spending causes a big rush into retailers such as Walmart and Target. And as a result, these particular establishments quickly run out of stock on the things that they sell. Now, in order to replace their stock, they need to get in touch with their suppliers and make orders for an increasing number of things, which will result in an increase in their stock. After then, suppliers will make contact with their manufacturers in order to produce additional goods because there is an increase in the number of goods that are being sold. In essence, it is comparable to a massive chain reaction. In addition, this domino effect supports the economy, which in turn stimulates the overall economy. When you spend the stimulus money in a responsible manner on essentials, you are not only contributing to the improvement of the economy, but you are also meeting your personal need. It is important to keep in mind that the money is intended to be distributed around the economy in order to provide a beneficial overall impact. Now, when it comes to the stimulus checks, it is very important to recognize that spending them is not only great for people, but it is also beneficial for the economy as a whole and the entire system. 
you are not only meeting your own requirements when you spend the money on things like groceries, clothing and other necessities, but you are also making a contribution to the expansion of the economy as a whole. At this point, the government has come to acknowledge the significance of the stimulus expenditure into the economy and the importance of guaranteeing the economy's recovery throughout the entire process. The significant increase in customer demand that occurs as a result of individuals going out and spending their stimulus check is immediately noticeable to businesses. Because of this, retail establishments such as Walmart and Target frequently run out of their product because customers are hurrying to make a profit. Acquisitions made, this results in companies reaching out to their suppliers in order to place additional orders for their products. For their products, it is necessary for suppliers to get in touch with their respective manufacturers in order to generate extra goods. By and large, this one causes a nuclear reaction, which you could also refer to as a chain reaction or chain effect. You could also say that it causes a chain reaction. It is similar to a domino effect that ensures the economy continues to function. Currently, the rapid movement of the money boosts the entire economy in a couple of weeks. This occurs very quickly. It does not take much for this influence to begin to take effect and have a substantial impact on the businesses, individuals and those who are in genuine need of it. Now that we've reached this phase, you might be wondering when the next wave of a stimulation will be. No, the response to this inquiry is not going to be yes, it's dependent on the current state of the economy. In the event that it is comparable to the circumstance that we encountered at the beginning of the year 2020, it is highly probable that the same criterion will be used to this time as well. In terms of the size of the stimulus check, it is possible that it is comparable to the third round of the stimulus check, which was approximately $1,400. On the other hand, gentlemen, the precise sum will be determined taking into account the eligibility requirements as well as other significant aspects. Because of this, it is imperative that we keep a tight eye on the government. To have a better understanding of the current state of the economy and the government's perspective on the economy, it is important to know what the government is saying. Are the government is saying, are the government officials aware that it is now the appropriate time to distribute the stimulus check? I think that is a really significant feature. The question is, why would the government choose to include checks for stimulus in the first list? The response to this issue is that the objective is to stimulate the economy, which is a fascinating question in and of itself. It is the goal of the government to provide financial assistance to individuals in order to support enterprises and assist them in maintaining their own existence. A stimulus check of some kind was distributed to around 280 million people in the United States, which is equivalent to 85% of the population's total population. If another round of stimulus checks were to be approved, it is highly probable that those individuals who receive fixed income benefits, such as those who receive Social Security, SSI, SSESDI, People on Retirement, Veterans Affairs Beneficiaries, Railroad Beneficiaries, and RRB, will be included in the next round of stimulus checks. As of right now, there does not appear to be any apparent reason why these particular groups would be excluded from the subsequent round of stimulus checks. The anticipated amount of the stimulus check is a little bit more complicated than it seems at first glance. It's possible that the next stimulus check will be anywhere between $1,200 to $2,000, depending on the circumstances. We will, however, have to wait and see what is approved before we can proceed. Currently, the dynamics of the situation imply that there is a significant possibility of another round of stimulus checks being issued if the economy continues to fall. This is the case according to the current circumstances. It is the severity of the economic crisis that will determine the amount of money that will be granted by the stimulus check. Consequently, we should anticipate that the check will be somewhere in the range of $1,200 to $2,000 depending on the